he really, it's almost like he's he's planned, I'm going to par this hole and I'm going to have a bit of a, a little bit more aggression on these easier holes. But uh, for any hole that's a bit dangerous, I'm not going to take any unnecessary risks. Hazy, I think amongst the younger players, he, from the first time we saw him, he's tended to have good course management. Some, I mean, some of the guys, without sounding unfair, just... You know, they get out there and they just look absolutely clueless. But he's always had the right idea, hasn't he? Yes, I think so. And he certainly had looked like that today. You know, that uh, seventh hole, I, it, I mean, that was four yards short of being a good shot. So, you know, that wasn't really, it wasn't like it was a rank bad shot that he played there. But for the rest, he's looked like he's kind of got a plan and he's sticking to it. And I think part of his plan is to birdie this hole. You know, he's hit it a bit further past than he would like to. But he's a very, very good putter. He made a great putt for a birdie at the last. Can he repeat? Not far off. What a beauty. Brilliant putt. Twos, 14 and 15. Absolute beauties. You almost feel he's got his name written on the trophy. And with that, he extends his lead at the top. It is now two for Christian Bezadenhout. Well, with that in mind, you've got to think this has got to go in. 17 and 18 coming up, but this one downhill off the left-hand side. Wind is howling across him from right to left. Might just hold the ball up on that left-hand side. You just never know. Oh, you're joking. You're kidding. You could just see the line on the ball starting to lean a little further right. It was just trying to edge its way over. And he thinks he's... Oh, no, that's just not right, is it? Great effort. Just millimetres away for Sean Crocker. He's two back. That really would have helped. Just two holes left to play for the American. Ronk is now four behind. Yeah, this is the, or was the overnight leader at 14 under. Ah, that's one back. Bad run, 13 and 14, three shots went. Well, this is deserved, isn't it, Tony? We said about it, he was a brave man to take this pin on on the right-hand side, nearly slam-dunked it. This is slick, straight downhill, breaking off the left-hand side for Arne Hanks. Well-deserving of a two, if this goes in. That's a pity. That was a tremendous tee shot, we think, if he didn't push it, either way. It's a good three, good par. Shaper, try and get to minus 12, and he has done. He might not be done with us, you no, know, this young not. man. Great lessons learned. In fact, every single stressful tee shot that he's hit badly has gone left. That in itself is a lesson. Richard Bland. Well back in the bunker, no issues with lips or anything like that. They're quite compacted. You can get a good strike on it. That's okay. Finds the green in two. Does Richard Bland might need a little better than that though? That is how things stand in the final round of the Alfred Dunhill Championship. Poseidon Ho now with a two-shot buffer. Alison, can I come and cry on your shoulder? Because it's our last day at Leopard Creek. Would, <laughs> would you mind? You can cry on my shoulder from two metres away, Tony. <laughs> it's as close as I'll let you get. This place, it really is special. From the course to the park to the hospitality, it's a cut above. It's no wonder all of these great players want to come back and support it. Christian Besaidenhout, one of those. Obviously, before this rally, that was great. I love it. 
friends call him Rambo. I presume because he's tough. And when the game gets tough, tough to get going. He's done that in the last two holes for Zaid Note. Well, this is a very, very difficult tee shot. The wind is straight behind the players. The pin's only six on and six from the right of the green. And uh, I'm quite well away from him. And I, even from here, I can hear the water in his knee splashing. He's so nervous with the shot. But this is 165 yards. So probably with the wind helping. Oh, 9-9. Nine -nine. Hard 9-9. Nine -nine. What do you think, Tony? Don't want to be short, that's for sure. Yes, exactly what he needed. Two shot lead, pretend the, the middle of the green is the right edge. <laughs> Just forget about the rest. Cutting back up the green for a closing birdie, Scott Jameson. Such a good try. And when you're in, you know, the top four or five and you miss one like that on 18, the mental calculator starts going. Chick, 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 chick. You're yeah. trying to work out how much it's cost you. What was that? How much was that? <laughs> Jaden Shaper. 165 is what he's got. This will definitely only be a 9-9 for him with the wind. Also a good shot. Balls kissing each other. Mm. Gonna... Surely that's not allowed <laughs> with social distancing. <laughs> he's going to give Zaid Note a wonderful line as well. Zaid Note's ball will be replaced, obviously. By the way, Tony, you know when Ali said that you, she wouldn't allow you within two metres to yes. try on her shoulder? Yes. How many times have you heard that from girls in your life? Oh, it's just, I, I've lost count. I just lost count. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Adrian Moronk. Let's see if he can have a strong finish. 3-3-4. Three, three, oh, we'd give a lot of money for that, wouldn't we? 9-9. Nine, nine, straight downwind. Good man, he's had a go, and he has to. He's three behind. Look, the game is not over on this golf course. Leopard Creek, we've seen some really funny things happen down the closing three or four holes at this golf course, but brave shot. One under for this hole so far this week. Sean Crocker, and three wood off the tee. On his way, he's a couple behind. Perfect. Very good. Richard Bland for his birdie. Conservatively to the heart of the green from the fairway sand. Doesn't look like it's going to be his day today. Started six shots back off the lead but played his way right into the thick of things and the bogey at 15 might have just undone his laces ever so much it's bezayden in front by two and you know before J jaden shaper putts us i must say it's wonderful to see players like christian bezayden really make it an effort to support the sunshine tour swing it's co-sanctioned with the European Tour. Jaden Shaper, now this putt's going to go over this little ridge down the hill, so it's going to be quite fast. It'll probably turn to the left at the end with the wind blowing it. And, uh, well, here we go. Grandstand finish needed. Last two holes coming up. Sean Crocker. 
And he's got a pin down the left-hand side, 170 to this pin. Anything just a couple of yards right of it will find that big ball that lurks on the right-hand side on the green, and that will throw it away from the flag. He's got to be left of this flag to give himself a chance of a birdie. Just, just leaked it out on that breeze. But the hole is bigger than the ball. It's still makeable. Had a Christian beside that had a very good look there at uh, Jaden Shaper's putt to see exactly what it would do. So. He's got the line. He should have a great idea of the speed. Well, he's had a great idea of the speed of these greens the whole day. Well, he had the line. He's himself a tricky little one there. When he won the Andalusia Masters last year, he averaged under 24 putts per round. He is one of the best putters on tour. And that one was short in the jaws, potentially a little defensive, given his position at the top of the leaderboard. Very quick putt for Adrian. Down the hill, yeah. It's uh, this is a slick, slick putt. Lovely tee shot. He really took that tee shot on. Uh, he hasn't backed off at all. He's had a couple of bad breaks at uh, 14 and 15 with two sixes. But if he can get this in and then make a 3 3 finish, who knows? Two. It'll be a safe three, though. He'll stay at uh, 11 under. Marcus Armitage, just for birdie to finish. Nine under. Go on, roll it in. Yes, well done. Good week. Another good week for Marcus Armitage. 70. Uh, right now, he's tied six at uh, nine under par. Uh, 57th on the race to Dubai. It really is... It's another top 10. He's had 10 top 15 finishes. Third in the South African Open. Well done to him. Ah, oh, putt for Shaper. I'm getting quite expensive at this end of the Sunday. It's a shame if it wasn't for the finish here 17 and 18 he'd say and then there were two in crocker and bezayden hope but you can never call it till the end at leopard creek oh there's been some terrible things to happen go on at the last you know if you were nine under par in the clubhouse you'd think would well, you know what all five of them could take plenty down the last time <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not going home Big putt here for Poseidon Hope. This to stay there, to stay at the top. We have a two-shot lead. Hang on to that buffer. Good stroke, good putt. Hopefully, he only needs five more swings. Decent ones. I remember first meeting him, Tony, with you. I think it was at Glendower, you know, when we played a... or not we played, but when we were at a tournament. I think it was. He turned... It's just a par for Moronk, but he turned pro in 2015, mm. Hope. So would we have been Glendower around about 15 or 16? I think we would. Yeah, we would have. We were. 
bland. He's done well to get it here. He's on a little upslope as well. Oh. That's and I don't think he's likely to take one here. I'll be surprised if this drive finishes yeah, level with the bunkers. I think they'll be short of those bunkers on the right-hand side. But he has got the driver out. Is it just a gentle one? I don't know whether that came out the middle of the club. Not even close, I don't think. I think that was very near the bottom. I was going to say, if the middle of the club is on the bottom groove. Crocker, birdie, pad at 17, right to left. Up the tier, it's slow, and then it gets quicker at the hole, and... Ow! What a time to do it. Huge from Sean Crocker. He birdies 17, and now the gap is just one shot at the top. Well, there's another look here. Look at he hits out that four feet right at the hole. From where he is, and just there he knows. Get in there. What a time to do that. Huh. It's not over yet. No, it isn't. Moronk next up. Just drift a little further right. Oh, that's spot on. Beautiful tee shot. Jaden Shaper with a three wood. So that means he's trying to make sure that he doesn't go in that bunker on the right hand side. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. That's fine. Little does he know, probably at this point. Yes, he probably thinks he's too ahead, doesn't he, right now? I'll get a bit of a surprise when he gets up on that 17th green. I don't know how quickly word of mouth nowadays gets round about so-and-so's had a birdie here, you're only one ahead. I mean, it used to take a little bit of time to get around, didn't it, Tony? Well, you'd, he you'd hear the crowd. Yes, a very good point as well. Well, there we go, spring in your step. After that birdie putt there at 17, steps on here, absolutely buzzing, I'm sure. Aiming down the right, wind off the right and down at this 18th par 5, 5-5-2. Five, five, Yards, adrenaline's flowing. You catch the down slope, you can gain some serious yardage for your second shot in. Oh, oh that's going left. That's going way left. <gasps> oh, is my that, goodness. There's an out of bounds down there, isn't there? Well, well that is, there's a bucket going down the path, and it's just hit her on the head. Uh, but what? not hurt, hit the buggy on the head. And? Um, but it's ricocheted left, and I'm going to go and have a long run now down to see if it's still in bounds, because it's got to be close. I thought he was going to say it's, it's hit the top of the buggy, landed softly, and she's taking it all the way down to the green. <laughs> well, you know what, I think if that hits the path that she's on, it's going to ricochet left and go out of bounds anyway, so I don't think it's cost him anything. Not absolutely sure how far left the line is. There goes our man John Morgan between the hurdles. Oh, he looks very fit, doesn't he? There used to be a picket fence down the left side when the range was just left of them. Yeah. But they've just got a white line now, we were told. Come in, John, come in. I can see the ball, and I think that's his. I'm just running over to it now. It's a Strixon, and that is his ball, and that is out of bounds. Out of bounds? Out of bounds. Right. And I think that's extremely unlucky, because would that have gone out of bounds if it wouldn't have if hit the buggy with the lady coming past? Did it go hard left off the... Yeah. OK. 
Was it up here? Are you up here? Where's it? Now, the one thing I picked up out of there was controlled CFA, controlled seven. Could that be right from that distance, Hazy? I think that's exactly the club. He's got 224. He's going to get a bit of a flyer. It is downwind. And uh, there's 224 to the pin. He's got just 200 to the front of the green. He's got to try and carry a 28, 210, because it's going to, you know, hopefully it's going to run a little bit as well. Well, that has come out like a rocket. Don't think that's going to yeah, be a particularly easy chip. I don't think it's yeah. going to be fast. I think, isn't it? It's going to be like lightning. Now, Adrian Morong, who has got 214, 10 yards less, and uh, he's on pretty much the same line. So this might be, I uh, probably an eight iron that he's got here. What? Birdie, birdie finish. <laughs> Not from there, I'm afraid, unless it's a miracle. 